Hey everybody, Pokemon John here, and welcome to today's video in which I am going to talk about what products should you pick up for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet 151, the specialty set. And I want to say thank you all for being here, and thank you also for, for the subscribers. Thank you for the likes and the comments and the views. It means a lot. Let's get this channel to a thousand. We're on the road. Um, I took a little break during the summer because of uh, some things I had to work on at my job and just enjoying the summer with family. But I'm back to it and I'm going to continue to stay and give you guys more content and get better. I feel that this set is great for Scarlet and Violet Era to bring in new people, to bring in, um, no, sorry, to rekindle the older collectors or people who've been in the hobby for the new era to say, hey, this is not bad. We should look into this Scarlet and Violet Era. It's not that bad. I personally think that Scarlet and Violet is starting off really well um, with the cards. I know a lot of people don't receive it that way, but when you compare it to a lot of the older sets when they first start off, the cards are just, in my opinion, trash. I'm sorry. That's the reason why I personally got out of the hobby years ago, because the card artwork was just trash. But Scarlet and Violet were getting illustration rares, you know, no more alternate arts, but we're getting more consistent and, uh, you know, more organized uh, artworks from the same uh, artists. I think that is pretty cool, you know, to help out with consistency. So 151 is pretty much, and I mentioned this before, a base set reprint in my opinion. And what I mean by base and reprint with, well, base print reprint, reprint 2.0 is upgraded. You know, it's the same concept as base set from the from the 90s, but it just has um, new artwork and the new illustration rares and a new modern twist to it. You know, as you can see, here are the original uh, Pokemon from base set, but just new artwork. And it looks so phenomenal. And a couple of new cards, like the illustration rares, as I mentioned before. And I think that people are really liking it. Um, it was originally released in Japan in June of 20 of this year, 2023, June 16th. And now it's finally officially here in the English side. And my birthday was yesterday, September 22nd. And I did not pick up anything from 151 from the English side. I have a few Japanese boost boxes. But yeah, so as I show you get the cards, we're gonna go into the products that you should, you should pick up, the the main gist of this video. <laughs> I'm gonna use TCG player for this video. Yeah, just wanted to use it for this video. No biggie, no reason. Just, I just clicked on the website. <laughs> so the 151 poster collection from Scarlet and Violet, I think it's a cool pickup um, for investing. Yeah, it could, you know, long-term anything could really do well, but for now, I think this is definitely a pickup and, uh, <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna label things where I recommend to pick up or invest. And what I mean by pick up, you know, you pick it up, open it, have fun, enjoy it. And the best, you know, you hold on to it and you see, you know, you just invest in it. Yeah. <laughs> so, poster collection is fun. I think this is a cool pickup and uh, potential investing. Why for me investing? Because I like the poster collection. Started three with their, uh, you know, beginning artworks, hollow, you know, it's a nice small thing. It's 15 bucks in person, ignore this price. And it is you know, kind of on a downcline, which is cool. I don't know why it's an upcline, ew. So this is the poster only. And I make sure I have verified sellers so that, you know, we can see what uh, LGSs are doing around the country. Don't pay this price. You could get it for uh, 15 bucks. So yeah, just, don't overpay for anything on this list. Please don't. Next is the binder collection. I think this is, this is a cool item. Um, I wish it was uh, Ultra Pro. I would have definitely grabbed some if it was, but nevertheless, I've seen some videos. I've seen it in person. This binder collection it is pretty nice. Um, it's, uh, you know, it carries, it can, it can hold the whole master set, I believe. And it does look decent on display. 
and it is going for uh, 25 uh, MSRP 25 bucks but people are selling for 31 I definitely say this is a pickup you know pick up enjoy you know collect your cards if you want to have a master set but, like I think this is a really cool item I'm um, investing yeah no nah. like I said this is this is a definitely a pickup crack it open and have fun next the 151 ETB the one you can find everywhere and anywhere definitely a pickup and have fun don't pay above MSRP please don't and this is so far even in my area Walmart's targets local LGS going for MSRP some places you're paying uh, some uh, I think I was like 54 bucks the most I've seen the most I've seen I'm like ill yeah get it for $45 that's yes please definitely pick that up <laughs> so you know anywhere under 50 I think you're you're gonna do great 45 good anything under 45 awesome definitely a pickup uh, for investing not right now it's still too early just enjoy it have fun enjoy the cards enjoy the artwork you know don't worry about investing uh, for this product right now the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB okay all right come close everybody come close come close come on come on I like that Pokemon are having exclusive items but I don't like how they are doing it I feel that they need to have this item available for at least a month or two so people can't get their hands on it enjoy it and then you cut it off for good you know Walmart you know the regular ETBs yeah you know that's in Walmart whatever it is yeah that one should be you know open for a long time but this no I, I don't like that like it's see it's already going for 112 dollars it's been like that ever since um it was announced on the pokemon center website and available for pre-order you know it, it, it's just it's just gone this is it's still too early but for what it's looking like i think this will be a good one to uh to invest in but i would say pick up you know maybe pick up one or two and then see how it, it, it goes for the next uh few weeks this can be definitely a collector's item. It can be an investing item. Um, but for what it's looking like, it's looking more of the investing side. You know, if you could get a case, you know, that's pretty cool as well. But um, yeah, like how it's looking, I personally don't really care about this item. But, you know, for an investment, as of right now, it is a vestible item because it's not being reprinted. So, uh, there are no words, no news. I checked yesterday, I checked today on the Pokemon Center website, it is still out of stock. It looks like it's having a little decline, but you know, it, it until it gets a reprint or a restock or something, you know, this might be the, the go-to product for now. But yeah, I mean, why Pokemon print out more for people, man? Damn it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> this item, I wanted it so bad when I first heard about it. I was like, "Oh, that's a cool looking display. Wow, I want it. This th th that's new." And then I saw the price, <laughs> and I'm like, "Wait, wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Four hundred dollars. These boxes are going for some." A little bit more and people are buying it oh gosh people know <laughs> some people say oh short print it for this oh they, they can't find it but hear me out you get 10 six pack mini 10 displays which contains six booster packs so let me say that again a case the display case right here contains 10 booster bundles and each one contains six booster packs. MSRP for one of these booster bundles, $26 or $27. So a whole case should be around 
50 through 260, 270, depending on where you are. Okay, still expensive, but okay, cool. You know, you're getting 60 packs, six zero packs. I right, not bad. But with this price of four hundred and seventeen dollars, that's uh, what is it like thirty nine through forty five dollars for one booster bundle. You can get a ETB with nine packs, sleeves, a promo, a deck box. You know, like you, you turn it into a deck box. Um, I think dividers in there as well for this price, forty nine. Or like I said, forty-five dollars or less. But here, for one, <laughs> no, no, that's six packs, sweetie. That's about seven dollars for a pack. Why? And people are buying it. Why? To just buy ETB. I'm sorry, like. No, the, this is a product that, you know, um, again, I, I'm not telling you what to do, but I would say don't pick it up for the, for that price. But hey, do what you got to do for this price. I'm picking up the 151 Japanese booster box uh, uh, sealed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, next. That's all I got to say about that one. Um, so those are the products that have came out yesterday and that should be in your local LGS, Walmart, Target, Sam's Club, um, wherever you could buy your Pokemon cards at. <laughs> and the next few items are going to be released October 6th of next month. Yeah. I definitely re recommend um, this is a product that is, I say is both, you know, um, investing and collect and you know, picking up to have fun. You know, you get some cool promos, you know, it's definitely look great on display. I haven't seen that in person, but I could just imagine, you know, a little hollow on, on there on your desktop or whatever you put your collectible, your collectible Pokemon products at. And, you know, it's going for MSRP 16 packs, you know, some three promos, including one that is a metal card. You know, you get a playing mat, you know, get some cool accessories and you could get a case, you know, cheaper than the, or just around the same price as the Booster Bundle display. But, you know, you might get some more packs from the Booster Bundle display, but, you know, whatever, you know, people are, are buying it. Oh, gosh, I, I don't know if this is a glitch. It's all the same price. I don't know, but you can get it for MSRP and um, a lot of people on YouTube and people throughout my, my area are claiming that this is somewhere in between the Charizard UPC and the Celebrations UPC. My thing is, I personally want to get um, at least a case or two. You know, I'm gonna aim for that, but I would definitely recommend holding this for the long haul. You know, adding it to your Charizard UPC or your um, Zashi and Zamazenta UPC or celebrations if you have one UPC. It's definitely something that looks great in display and like I cannot wait to have this in my possession. <laughs> I love mini tins. I love mini tins. So those who follow me <laughs> on my YouTube channel. Oh man, you, you know I'm picking this up, man. I need to get a case or two, man. I, I love mini tins. The colors, the display, I, I love it. And it's going for MSRP, word, I am great. Um, of course, yeah, it should be like a hundred bucks, but that's the most I will pay for. Um, my local area is definitely gonna have them and I'm definitely gonna pick them up. I cannot wait for this. I cannot wait. <laughs> um, For, you know, for uh, being neutral, I would say, um, I definitely recommend picking it up for fun. Of course, you know, you have uh, two packs, uh, 10 mini tins inside one display, and that will equate to 20 booster packs. You get a cool coin and you get an art card. I wish it was an actual, like, pretty, uh, like, I wish it was like a better looking card, like an actual card that's like, hey, this is actually pretty cool. 
but it's just an artwork card that combines you know all of the the picture that you see on the mini tin display but um but yeah this is my definitely my go-to um but for you guys i recommend you know picking it up you know pick up a 10 or two at a time but if you can get a sealed um display i will hold that off i will hold that up hold that keep it collection just put it away because you rarely see those in uh in the wild and then longevity you know i think that could do something Again, it's still too new for mini tens, especially for specialty sets. So we'll see what the future has in store for mini tens. But yeah, definitely a pickup, and you know, definitely have fun and open it up. And this could be a good way to get cheap packs. Uh, it goes for ten dollars uh, per ten, so that that's uh, ten, five dollars per booster pack. You know, not bad. And here is a Zapdos EX collection box. Um, definitely a pickup for fun. You know Zapdos, you know here. This may be one of the few. Uh, I don't know if Pokemon is doing away with Jumbo artwork, but it's been popping up here and here and there. So I'm like, eh. You know Zapdos. I love Zapdos. You know you get four booster packs. You know two four cards, Jumbo. It's a cool pickup. If you are a Zapdos collector, hey, here it is. And finally, but not least. Alakazam EX. Some people may pick this up simply because we have a Kadabra back. You know, you get foil cards of these, of you know, foil on there. And it's definitely something that I think would be great just to pick up and have fun with. So, that is what I have for Pokemon 151 for the English side. I hope you guys uh, will have a great day, evening. If you're at work, you know, you're, you're going to get through it. And if you're just getting off of work, hey, I'm glad you're relaxing watching my video. Thank you so much, Pokemon John out. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will continue to make more and better content for all of you. So let me know what you guys think. What items did you pick up? What items would you continue to pick up? What items will you keep as a sealed product for investing for the long, long, long haul? <laughs> Thank you so much, Pokemon John out. Take life one day at a time. Just know your love, God loves you. And continue to do better. And always increase what you want to do, you know? All right, Pokemon John out, bye.